It's a not a bad city, said Luigi Hendrick. <laughs> Educated in culture, historic and pretty. But the people who live there are pugnacious and petty. Quick to duel should you choose to insult their spaghetti. <laughs> Two households in town are especially batty. They're constantly fighting like doggies and caddies. The Montagues bark and the Capulets hiss, and no one remembers when it wasn't like this. <laughs> so, if I were the prince of Verona, Italy, I'd make a few changes, said old Luigi. Now the first thing I'd do, sagely stated Manfredi, I would call a timeout for two weeks and fifty. Then we'd sit down together and write up a plan titled, We Can Be Tragedy Free. Yes, we can. <laughs> I'd talk to teenagers like Sweet Juliet, the peak of perfection of Clan Capulet, and young puppy Romeo, the Montague scamp, who lately got dumped by that Rosaline tramp. <laughs> They're secretly dating, twixt feuding households. When Verona finds out, the whole town will explode. I'd talk to their parents, those obstinate foes, and Juliet's know-it-all nurse, I suppose, though how I'd get in the world, world, world edgewise, who knows? <coughs> Mayhap Testy Tybalt and I could chit-chat with that whiny, self-righteous Benvolio chap. <laughs> then rich county parents, that opulent foe, might join me to powwow with Mercutio. But if he started to blab about Queen Mab, we'd go. <laughs> Together we'd do it. We'd talk our way through it. Our troubles we'd stick on a list and cry, screw it! And then we'd make a few changes. Don't laugh, don't guffaw. I'd post princely edicts. I'd pen some new laws. For instance, we know that young men are quite fond of brawling, with rapiers and daggers making rooms quite appalling. So, to ensure that Verona's more peaceful and calming, all duels in the future should be fought with salamis. <laughs> Furthermore, fathers should never choose mates for their daughters, because that leads to heartache and sometimes to slaughters. Friars should never be allowed to dispense advice or narcotics without proper license. <laughs> Nightly curfews are useful. Guard graveyards with goons. Nothing good ever happens after dark in a tomb. <laughs> These and other new rules, bragged Mandritti with pride, would restore law and order where not chaos abides. The city would prosper. There'd be laughter and glee. And that joy would be felt throughout all Italy. <sighs> yes, I'd make a few changes, said old Luigi. If I ran Verona, if prince I should be. For never did town need to change status quo more than that of Juliet and her Romeo. <laughs>